Hi, and thanks so much for joining me. Today we are featuring these two new palettes by Dior as well as a new lip shade. As requested, I did these side by side, but I will do a look when I do the foundation video and I'll pick one of these to do an entire look with and then maybe use the other one in an upcoming video with another new product if one comes along. Yes, I swatched both of these and did some comparisons for you as well. Thank you again for the feedback, letting me know that some of you like that very close up detailed look at the products. So I'm happy to do that, to do that. So I did do that with these and I swatched this as well. I didn't really have anything to compare it with, but that is a separate video if you want to see the swatches. Of course, I will link that below, but let's go ahead to the demo. Okay, I've already gone in with my base products. I'm trying to use as much Dior as I can in terms of the foundations, because I want to kind of check things against the new foundations that are still coming. But I wanted to try these again because I ordered the foundations in these shades, 3W and 3WP. So I'll be swatching those for you against these. I really still love this foundation. I think I like it better than the other foundation, but we'll see. But I'm gonna go in with this first. And I was reading about the application. They said to take this top shade, this top shade, and put it all over the lid. Beautiful. Okay, that's more sheer than I thought it would be. So this is 733. Let's go in with this other palette. This is number 833, Mineral Rose. We'll go ahead and take that. So this one has a beautiful finish to it. It's got a bit of a glow. I think this one might have a more interesting finish, even though they are similar in their finishes. This one, you can see the contrast a little bit more, I think, on the pink side versus the peachier side. They suggested using this middle shade along the lash line and underneath, so we're gonna do that. And I just wanna take it on the edge here, the end. So we'll go underneath, and then we'll go up here. So this is not a matte shade. This does have a reflective quality to it, this shade as well. I want it kind of soft, so that's why we're doing it like this. Yeah, I want it kind of soft, like ombre color. Let's see how this works out. That makes me look like I'm ill, but let's keep going because this is not the final product. Let's just take a little bit more and see if we can build in just a little crease. Just want a little dimension. As you know, mascara will make a big difference here. Um, let's go in with this as well. This one doesn't have as much of a tapered edge, but let's try. So, so far, they look okay. Let's see if we can get a bit of a liner just because it's more compact. Okay, that makes a difference. It's definitely more intense. I'm just going to clean off the brush here. Okay, oh, I forgot to add the other shade, another shade and sweep. Let's take this, this lightest color, and it said under the brow bone. Just have a little fallout, and then in the inner corner. But yeah, that last one is more powdery and has a potential for fallout, so just be careful with this one. I think these are definitely more whimsical um, than anything else, but I'm not sure I like it yet, but let's add some mascara and see what they look like because that always makes a difference. And I'll see if I can find eyeliners that will complement these, but let me do mascara first and we can take a look. So that is how it looks with mascara. I'm gonna try and intensify here in a little bit, but I wanna add just a little bit of um, concealer just to clean that up. So clay de peau. I haven't added eyeliner or anything, I just mascara. I'm actually not quite sure what I would use here, but let's go ahead and add blush. I do have a little bit of this on just to hydrate my lips right now. It's number 914. It's kind of nice for something when I'm not sure what to do with my um, lipstick, but we will add the other product, the lip gloss that I uh, picked up but in a moment here so let's go in with some blushes so I have a couple of Dior blushes I thought maybe this would go well here let's try now this is the shade 004 coral 
that is that side. So if we did like a peachy toned, like a monochromatic look, and then I'm gonna go in with this blush. This is the Rouge blush in 475 Rose Caprice. Then let's go in with, it's very vibrant. Um, let's go in with the lip product, which is over there. Let's go ahead and remove it. The Chanel one, because you can see it's got color. We're gonna go in with the Lip Maximizer. Oh wow, okay, so I don't know how many of these I've tried. There is a, um, like a tingling sensation with this. Yeah, there's a bit of a tingling with this one. Okay, so here are the two palettes. So we've got Coral Glow and Mineral Glow. They're kind of fun palettes. Um, I do want to kind of ground them though. So if you wanted to just use these palettes, you could do it this way. I'm gonna try and intensify though using this color right here in the crease. Let's see if we can build in more definition. I tried to follow the directions like kind of more as a an ombre kind of thing, but I do like a little bit of dimension. So I'm just taking that deepest color and really building a crease here. Okay, so I think I prefer that, just a little bit more color up there. Same thing over here. This brush is a little bit thicker. Yeah, definitely prefer it like that. Um, let's go ahead and I wanna even out the blushes and see if we can do that. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the blushes and kind of just even them out. Taking a little bit of this one, adding it over here just to brighten. And then take a little bit of the pink, this one, and add it over here. And now that we have a lot of blush, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna blur. Should we try this powder? Let's try the Dior um, 2N. This adds a little bit, oddly, a little bit of uh, color to my face though. So let's see. Yeah, I can't get them exactly the same because it's already like muted on this side. Um, but I think I need my uh, Chantecaille powder because I need something to blur a little bit more. Okay, I think I'm gonna tight line as well. This is Earth by Chantecaille. Okay, so I think that changed it up a little bit. Um, gave it a little bit more definition. And then this might work. Amethyst in the waterline here. This is by Chantecaille. Okay, actually, I really like that with amethyst. Let's take amethyst above as well. Yeah, I think it's really pretty to just go in with eyeshadow. It's more editorial, I wanna say, um, but for me, this is how I would use it. So that makes a big difference. I feel like as long as I can ground something in some beautiful eyeliners, then I'm happy to play with color, um, but that's me. I think some people really like just that really ethereal kind of whimsical look. I think it's really pretty, but for me, I just prefer something a little bit um, with more eyeliner. <laughs> so this is Brown Agape by Chanel. I couldn't find Jasper, but I think that would be a good choice as well for this side. And then I'm gonna go above as well. Yeah, that eyeliner makes a huge difference. That makes it more wearable for me. I know it's a different look, but it just works better for me. And of course, I do wanna try building in a crease with something neutral. So I'm gonna take the Dior, this palette, the uh, Backstage Contour Palette, and just add a little bit in the crease area. So I might take this warmer one, let's see how that works. Okay, so let's see how that looks. Well, okay, there's no mirror on this one. That's the only thing I don't like about these is that I expect there to be, me be a mirror, but there is not. Yeah, that's getting even better. So let's go ahead and do the same thing on this side. I'm using the same shade, by the way, because I think it'll work well there. And I don't feel it's taking away from the palette. I think it's just enhancing it. I don't think it changed the color or anything. In fact, I feel like you can actually see the color better somehow. 
I'm gonna take a little bit of the same, the same color underneath. Just right on the outer corner. Yeah, as you can see, you can still see the shades, but they're just, I feel like on me, they're more balanced when I have a little bit more going on eyeliner and then a little bit of a color in the crease just to define it. Just wanna take this color, the lightest color, and really emphasize that in the inner corner, taking a Sonia G brush. And then same on this side. Then I'm gonna take this and just use my clean hands here and apply it right in the center. Same thing on the other side. Okay, and that's it for the eyes. So typically with the shadows like this, I always love to just enhance a little bit more, do my own spin on it. So adding the eyeliner, of course mascara, and then building in just a little bit more of a crease color, then I'm happy with it. So when I go in with something like these, they're really whimsical, like I said, so you could see in that first version, but I feel like for my eyes and for my taste, I like to add just a little bit more and then I'm happy with the color. So had I stopped with just these colors, I don't know if that's something that I would wear out, but certainly like this, I would definitely wear both of these out. Um, I think they have a really pretty finish to them, even though there's a little bit more sparkle in that lighter shade. I probably wouldn't bring this shade all the way up to the brow bone, but I would put it in the inner, put it in the inner corner and also just use it right on the eyelid like I did at the end there. I thought that was really pretty. I liked the finish on these deeper shades. I think they're really beautiful, um, unique. In both palettes, I liked these shades one and two, and it's this one that was okay, but I thought these were really pretty on both of them. And then the slip is pretty, it just has that sensation though, so if that bothers you, you might wanna pass on that. But I don't know if they're plumped per se, let me see. You know, I really can't tell because I already have full lips, so I don't know if they're any more full with this product, but I can just, uh, there's a sensation to it and I think the color is pretty. I do think there's something fresh about these colors and the finishes that they have. But let me know what you think of these. What are your thoughts? Did you pick this up? How are you using them? I'm always really curious when, you know, there isn't a distinct like crease shade in there. Usually that's what I'm looking for because I know that's how I build. Um, my eye looks typically is around like, what am I gonna put in the crease? It's one of my first questions and here it's not really clear. <laughs> so let me know what you think of these palettes. But that is it for today's video. So please take care of each other. Stay well. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time.